Hello and welcome to Storytime Online. Today we're reading Creepy Carrots, written by Aaron Reynolds and illustrated by Peter Brown. This is also a Caldecott Honor book. And thanks to the publishers for letting us read this online. Jasper Rabbit had a passion for carrots, and the carrots that grew in crack and hopper field were the best. Fat, crisp, and free for the taking. He pulled some for a morning snack on the way to school, and he yanked out a few on his way to little league practice, and he ripped them from the ground on his way home at night. Jasper couldn't get enough carrots. Until they started following him. He first noticed something strange after the big game against the East Valley Hares. Jasper was about to help himself to a victory snack when he heard it, the soft, sinister tongue, tongue, tongue of carrots creeping. He turned, but there was nothing there. Just my imagination, he thought, but he hopped a little faster. That night, as he was brushing his teeth, there they were. Jasper whipped around, but nothing. He laughed at himself, picked his toothbrush off the floor and went to bed quickly. The next morning, he approached Krakenhopper Field slowly. He reached for two wild carrots. Nothing happened. He bit into one. Nothing happened. Phew! Creepy carrots. It was ridiculous. But... When he arrived home that evening, Mom, Mom, Jasper screamed, Creepy Carrots in the shed. His mom opened the door slowly. There weren't any carrots, not even the regular kind. There are no such things as creepy carrots, his mom said, shaking her head. Later that night, as Jasper lay in bed, he heard it, breathing, terrible, carroty breathing, and there, on his wall, creepy carrots, he shouted, Dad, Dad. His dad thumped into his bedroom and threw on the light. They searched under the bed, no creepy carrots. They looked through the closed closet, no creepy carrots. They opened the dresser drawers, no creepy carrots. Just a bad dream, son, his dad said, shaking his head. Now go to sleep. That wasn't going to happen. By the end of the week, Jasper was seeing creepy carrots creeping everywhere. Jasper knew his parents were wrong. Creepy carrots were real, and they were coming for him. But they couldn't get him if they couldn't get out. Jasper hatched the plan. First thing on Saturday, he grabbed supplies and headed to Krakenhopper Field. What do you think he's building? 
As the sun finally set across Crack and Hopper Field, Jasper Rabbit smiled. On his way home, there were no tonk, tonk, tonk. There were no carrot-shaped shadows. His plan had worked. No creepy carrots would ever get out of that carrot patch again. And as the fa sun finally set, the carrots of Crack and Hopper Field cheered. The creepy plan had worked. They were sure of it. Jasper Rabbit would never get into that carrot patch ever again. Thanks for joining.